What's good, Prince Sports here, man. Now, let's bring on the filthy with these NBA awards because today was the day the NBA released their finalists for every award, basically. The final three nominees for each award. We're gonna break one, break them down and go over um, who I think should win each award, okay? So we're gonna start out very simple with the first nominee, well, the first award, Rookie of the Year. The uh, nominees are Zion Williamson, Ja Morant, and Kenneth Nunn, okay? Now, all three of these guys had good seasons. I think this award would have been a runaway award for Zion Williamson if he played from the beginning of the season, okay? Because Zion Williamson had the biggest impact in the league than both of these guys. He would have ran away with this award because he's pretty much running away with being dominant right now, you know, over both of those guys. And ever since he came back. So if he was to lead his team to the playoffs, I think you would have a more legit chance of pitting Zion as rookie of the year. But I guess we're going to have to go with John Morant because out of all fairness, you can't just dismiss what somebody did from beginning to end. And he was playing from beginning to end. So I got to go with John Morant, even though I really think it's Zion Williamson if he played from the beginning of the year. So by default, we're giving it to John Morant. Now, the second award, I made a video on this one, is Defensive Player of the Year, okay? D-P-O-Y, all right? Now, I had three finalists, they are the same three finalists that's in this list. Rudy Gobert, Anthony Davis, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I got Anthony Davis winning this award. I mean, he leads the Lakers in several different categories. You gotta give him something. He's the only superstar with no individual award. Let's award Anthony Davis with Defensive Player of the Year. And he's part of the reason why the Lakers have good rim protection. You know, because Anthony Davis is out there altering shots, blocking shots, good rim protection. All right? Now the second category, Oh, I think this is the third. Yeah, third category that we're going over is Coach of the Year, okay? You got Nick Nurse, you got Billy Donovan, and you got Mike Budenhauser, okay? Me personally, you gotta go with Nick Nurse, man. He got the Toronto Raptors third best record in the league with no superstars, okay? That's just amazing, man. You gotta take your hat off to the schemes that he's running with Toronto and the plays that he runs with Toronto. They play good organized basketball. The San Antonio Spurs of the Eastern Conference. Okay, now this goes, this next category, the fourth category. You got two players that play on the same team. This shows you how deep the Clippers bench is. I'm gonna repeat, the Clippers got the best bench in the NBA. This is the reason why I think they win the championship this season. You know, no buts, no ifs about it, okay? Lou Williams, Montrez Harrell, and Dennis Truder are the three finalists for six man of the year. You could go with either Clipper, Montrez Harrell or Lou Williams. Now, if you want to be nice about it, you can give it to Lou Williams again. But I'm going to go with Montrez Harrell. You know, the brother's averaging a double-double most of the time. Man, and he's, he's going to be one of the biggest pieces in the Clippers um, team to win a championship because he's he's their biggest rim protection and he's going to be that guy that have to guard um, uh, what you call it, Anthony Davis, right? So that leads us to our next category, most improved player. Okay, now the most improved player, the nominees are Luca Don, you know the Mafia Don, <laughs> Bam 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 Abayo, and. The Rantula Part 2, B.I., Brandon Ingram, okay? I'm going with B.I. for this, okay? The FBI detective, B.I., <laughs> all right? He gets this award, man. This kid was three years in the season, um, three years in the league. People thought he was going to, like, just become a decent role player and not live up to his potential a little bit, but he's averaging 24 points a game. He's becoming a stud. He's a first-time All-Star. You got to give it to... Um, B.I. slash expect the gadget, F.B.I. He gets the award, period, man. He earns it, all right? Luka Dodd, I wouldn't know if I really want to pit him on the most improved because I always had ambitions of him being an all-star anyway. 
So, no, I won't even put him on this list, really. Okay, now you get the last, last and final category, MVP. MVP, most valuable player in the league. The award that individual players value the most. And the three nominees are Greek Freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, James Harden, The Beard, and LeBron the King James. Now, this award is easy. This goes to Giannis Antetokounmpo. From beginning to end, dude's been dominating, putting up all-star numbers, carrying his team on his back, and he's he has to go out and get like 34 and 10 almost every night sometimes just for his team to win. Even though he is playing with some decent players, but he reminds me of LeBron James from the earlier years, like 09 and 2010. So Giannis Antetokounmpo is your MVP of the league for the second time. What are your opinions? Do you agree with some of my opinions? Let me know in the comment section down below. Peace. Keep it 3,000.